Our strategy is steady as she goes, with our focus on safety, active portfolio management, tightly managing cost and capital, and keeping our balance sheet robust enough to handle any market environment. We are entering 2018 with a simpler, more sustainable portfolio in South Africa, consisting of a long-life, world-class Umpuning mine in the West Bits region, along with our surface operations, comprised of the long-life mine waste solutions, tailings retreatment operations, and the surface rock dump reclamation operations. Accounting for roughly just under 15% of our group production on a performer basis, our now streamlined business in South Africa will allow us to shift our focus and energy away from managing marginal ounces to a tidier portfolio with increased operating stability, intensified safety efforts, and margin growth opportunities as the opening below 120 project ramps up. Phase two, currently under evaluation, would deepen the secondary shaft to further extend its life with a 12.2 million ounce ore reserve and 50 million ounce mineral resource base at Umpuneng. We look forward to new exciting prospects at Umpuneng in the decades to come. Basic earnings for the year fell to a loss of $191 million and was impacted by a number of once-off or abnormal items. The impairment and derecognition of certain South African assets and goodwill amounting to $294 million, as well as the silicosis provision of $46 million after tax, both of which were non-cash in nature. However, the provision for retrenchment costs in South Africa of $71 million after tax had a cash impact of $49 million for the year, with the balance expected to, to impact the 2018 cash flows. All of our key metrics are moving in the right direction, notably the big cost, capital and production levers. We maintain excellent leverage to a rising gold price as we are seeing now. Proceeds from our South African asset sale will also improve our flexibility. We have resolved the burning questions around the structure of our South African asset base, monetizing some assets and putting other unprofitable ones into orderly closure. That puts South Africa at a little over 10%, around 13% of our portfolio, though crucially with a long life contribution that will improve in quality over time. And finally, recognizing as always that mining is a long-term game we continue to drive investment in world-class exploration talent in energetic brownfields and greenfields programs that have excellent potential from a drilling and portfolio investment perspective. Martin Cleaver from Mining Weekly Online. Thanks very much for giving me an opportunity to ask questions. I was really thrilled that our new president, Cyril Ramaphosa, in his State of the Nation speech, referred to hopes of the mining industry being sunrise. And I'm very thrilled to see a lot of sunrise in your company, but it's mainly outside of South Africa. I'm now searching for some sunrise inside the borders of our country. I also looked very carefully up and down for any reference to the new technology, which I saw as some sort of exploration equivalent for South Africa. I saw nothing at all. So I'm searching for some sunrise there, and my first question relating to the sunrise is, is the South African technology program still on the go? How will you apply it now at Impaneng? My second question is, please give me an update on the CapEx at Impaneng and the outlook for Impaneng and the sunrise potential coming out of Impaneng. We have actually slimmed down the technology to very much those areas, and there's a test site in terms of Sabuka where we can actually use it in terms of the Imponang operation, particularly the high strength backfill and the like. So that is still there, but in a reduced scale. In terms of Imponang, there is very good potential as we enter into higher grades. Uh, certainly now having got the bulk of the below 120 expansion out of the way, we starting, we'll start to see good production and cash flows come from the mine. The single biggest lever we have in Imponang is the respective shift arrangements, which Chris can allude to. If we can actually get that to work, Absolutely right, you can convert Imponang into a sunrise whole body going out into the future, but Chris can elaborate. I'll start with the technology piece. Um, I think in previous communications, you also mentioned that, alluded to the fact that we've curtailed, haven't stopped. I think it's the first point that I'd make. What we have in actual fact down-tuned is the 
pure reef boring um, initiative that we had. It really was a financial decision ultimately at the end of the day. What we are focused on mostly at the moment is thermal spawning that um, Venkat alluded to. Um, and we do see some serious potential for that, but it's still work in progress under, under research and development at this point in time, um, but showing promising um, results in actual fact. We also continue, we did ultra strength, uh, um, ultra strength backfill for the reef boring uh, project. That obviously continues with um, uh, thermal sporing, but we are continuing now with high strength backfill development, where we wish to place that ad umponen with a view to doing one of two things, either um, increasing our extraction rates by reducing regional pillar sizes if, um, by virtue of having a stiffer backfill, or alternatively, keeping the mine design exactly like it is and creating a safer mine by reducing the seismic potency and reducing seismic risk. As far as um, Umpuning is concerned, uh, we have alluded to the fact that the phase one project is coming to its logical final commissioning uh, and close out um, by around about mid-year, in actual fact, and that now sees 123 level and 126 level on the VCR being uh, fully operational. We've seen some pleasing um, uh, results come through with our raises and, and resultant grades uh, on 123, and we start to see the same thing on, on, on 126. Um, and yeah, uh, I think the key thing for us, as I alluded to earlier on, is we need to, in actual fact, get a new revised shift arrangement in place because currently we, we are um, encumbered by about a four and a half, five hour face time uh, where people work uh, bank to bank around eight and a half hours. We wish to take that up to a, a longer um, uh, shift duration on a five day work week basis and thereby get a significant uplift in percentage-wise in uh, available time on face. To answer a specific question on capital, it's not that we're not investing capital in South Africa, Martin. 66 million is still going US dollars in Imponang, of which 11 is in terms of project. The balance is nominal or reserve development. On that one, our feasibility study for the um, below 120 life of mine extension project, which is um, looking at both the uh, carbon leader and uh, VCR. We are scheduled to complete that feasibility during the course of this year. In closing, we have our work cut out for us in the months ahead with a clear set of priorities. We will work to ensure that the completion of our South African asset sales and the optimization of the remaining surface and support businesses to ensure that they match our remaining production base. Turning to Tanzania, we will continue our engagement with our hosts in Tanzania to find the requisite clarity around the legislative and regulatory environment. We will, to be clear, be looking for a pathway that ensures the long-term viability of an asset that is important not only for us, but also to Tanzania as a whole. In the DRC, we are working with our joint venture partner, Rangold, and our peers in the industry to lobby against the implementation of the new mining code, which we believe will cause reduction in the new reinvestment into DRC over time. We will, as always, continue to look for unlocking latent value from within our portfolio, whilst advance, advancing the exciting set of projects which we currently have to completion both on budget and on schedule. 